What's up everybody, it's Rusty Clutch here and welcome back to Pikmin 2. In today's episode, we are finishing up the shower room. As you can see, we are on the final floor, which is floor 7 here. And there is a boss fight here, I just gotta figure out how to get to it. I don't quite remember the route, which way I'm supposed to go. I think I'm supposed to go that way over there. We'll see right now. But the fight on this uh, for this boss is fairly interesting. He's got an interesting mechanic to him. Uh, you'll see right now once we break in there. I'll, I'll uh, explain it once I get once I get inside there. I'm gonna leave my Pikmin over here just so that I don't, you know, accidentally kill all of them. But this is our boss battle. This guy right here. So that's his attack. He hones in on the active captain. So. I'm not too sure if I can do this. Let me see. Uh, I think it's... There we go. Let me see. Does he still follow me? Let me see. Does this hurt? Okay, this does hurt. Alright, it hurts. It hurts. Okay. So, he's uh, going to keep trying to attack that captain over there until he sees uh, this captain active. I'm gonna leave him over, leave uh, Olimar over there, and then I'm gonna get close here. And I'm gonna switch to Olimar and let him, let him come here, let him come over here. Okay, ah, hey, over here, buddy, over here, over here. Aha, ha ha ha! We just gotta, we just gotta. <laughs> Just gotta get on his back. Try to confuse him a little bit. Uh, we're gonna run all the way out here. Just cause don't wanna lose any Pikmin. Get him to follow me back into this corner. Okay. Let him keep going. He's gonna follow me and I'm gonna switch back to Olimar. Hey, I'm right here. Hey, over here, buddy. Over here. Come and attack me. All right, perfect. And then just gotta throw these on his butt. Haha. -ha! And he's dead. Okay. So it's not not that hard of a fight. Uh, but if you don't know how to <laughs> how to accurately take care of that, it can get pretty hard because he he switches back and forth between whichever captain is active. Basically, you just want to corner him and then have a, you know once he attacks, switch back quickly and stuff. But I obviously didn't know that when I was growing up, so that was a very hard fight. I was just a lot of constant switching, but let's see what the uh, ship has to say. So, processing. How odd. The gooey creature dissolved, leaving this curious item behind. It appears to be coated in slime. Are you sure you want to collect this? Absolutely sure. You'll toss just about anything in my hold. It would be nice if you cleaned occasionally. Yeah, the ship isn't too happy about us always putting... Uh, slimy stuff from creatures inside and of course we're gonna take the you know our prey back which is the little stem on him we're also gonna come grab the rest of our Pikmin and break down that wall I don't believe that there's anything else in this floor besides his the the battle with him like I don't think there's any nectar or spray anything these are just alternate paths for some reason uh, like they don't lead in like they just kind of lead, all lead to the same spot so it doesn't really matter but while those guys move that slowly, I'm going to come over here and break down the, the escape route. Just to save us some time. One thing is that these walls break down almost instantly. Uh, especially with this many Pikmin and especially in boss battle floors. Uh, they're different colors and stuff, but it's never really for... Like, they're, color, they're, like they're you know, how there's like the white wall, the darker wall, and then the black wall, like, showing the strengths. They're never really uh, all the way up to their actual, like, strength underground. Like, they just vary kind of how, depending on the situation. Because, like, that black wall above ground would take, you know, two dots of a day to break. But underground, it breaks in, like, five seconds. So, this is the Amplified Amplifier. I mean, alliteration's great, you know? <laughs> this shape is well suited for the emission and amplification of sound waves. A moment, please. I shall use this as the final part of my new sound equipment. The Mega Tweeter is done. Captain Olimar, this device has increased the acoustic range of your whistle. So now we have a larger whistle. 
which we'll stop right there and then show you guys real quick. So it's not huge. I mean, it's not like ginormous, but it is, you know, a fair bit bigger than what it used to be. It, you know, kind of actually can encapsulate the entirety of our, our Pikmin group and then some, which is nice. You know, it's a nice little extra added benefit. But as you guys remember, um, our goal was to reach the 10,000 Pocos to help pay off the debt. So if we look at our grand total after this cave, you guys will notice something that after everything tallies in, that we have passed that total. We've also completed the cave because we're perfectionists. You know, you can't leave anything behind. And well, after all this is said and done, we are at 10,690 and we would love to save our game. So you're probably asking yourself, what happens once you repay all the debt? Well, the game is going to tell us. Because if I told you, it'd be redundant, right? <laughs> so yeah, we have now paid off 100% of the debt. And like I said, as soon as you repay the debt, it does this little cutscene. Mission complete. You've earned 10,000 Pocos. Now Hokute Freight will be prosperous and debt-free until the end of time. Probably. Prepare to blast off. We return to Hokute triumphantly. And that's the, that's the president looking off in the distance. So yeah, now we get to head home. Because we've done what we set out to do, is pay off all the debt that, you know, Hokute Freight owed. So as we blast off and make our way back soaring through light speed we see back and we reminisce on all of the people that we left behind including somebody pretty important if you ask me <laughs> louis himself so yeah somehow olimar is that bad of a captain that he accidentally left louis on um i believe this the planet doesn't have a name yet until the third series which in Pikmin 3, it's known as PNF 404. But as of right now, we're just going to call it Earth. So Louis was left on Earth <coughs> as Olimar returned back to Hokutate. Pretty sad if you ask me, because that's Louis' ship. So I don't know how he actually how he managed to do that. But yeah. So while we kind of let these uh, staff credits run for a little bit, I'm going to talk. Um, it's not the end of the series because there is you know other stuff i just like uh just want to talk about the game so far so basically what happens is once you repay the debt uh the game does continue and it takes on kind of like a hundred percenting vibe and there is a second ending to the game once you 100 percent it so we are going to continue on that way and, and finish off the game um but most of the time when i played this game growing up I, this is probably about this the spot that i stopped uh the last area i know it I know it briefly, I don't know it in depth um, as I did with the first areas, which let's be real, these first areas I don't know too well that much either. <laughs> it's also been a long time since I've played this game, but uh, we still have the entire first area to clean up and then one brand new area that's going to appear. So yeah, as you guys see in the background, Louis just kind of exploring the world and hanging out and trying to figure out what he's going to do. But yeah, so I'm going to skip ahead right now past this and uh, I'll catch you guys uh, when we get back into the actual game. Alright, so once you finish off repaying the debt, you get this little results screen which says results prior to repaying the debt. So this is kind of just like a checking in. So we've spent 10 days so far, lost 48 Pikmin, lost 46 to battle, uh, nothing to that. One to electricity, one to explosions. I normally don't like to see those, but you know, We've birthed it, birthed it, 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 353, which is great. Uh, the individual totals don't really matter, and we've only played for seven and a half ish hours. So we're we're soaring along through this on a normal, you know, back in the day, a normal playthrough, we'd, I'd probably be at like 15 hours and stuff. But luckily, I'm a little more practiced now. So yes, I would like to resume the expedition and return to the planet because we have to find Louis. There's no way we can just leave him there. Thanks to you, our company has been saved. Hurrah! What? There's still more treasure? Good gravy! If we collect it all, we'll be filthy rich! 
And then he calls upon Louis. And Louis's not there. So <laughs> he's on that case. The president is now part of our group. Um, and honestly, like I love Louis. Louis's great and all. But the president, it, it's like it's just funny. I don't know. To play as a president is funny. I, you'll see right now. But I really love his whistle. <laughs> also, uh, you get the little stars in the background once you upgrade to the final part. So yeah, this is now the Wistful Wild here. Uh, it's brand new. And as you can see, now there's everything has a something out of something. So we're done with the Perplexing Pool. And we're done with the Awakening Wood. The Wistful Wild, we'll save that for another day. As of right now, we're going to go to the Valley of Repose. Um, and actually, you know what? No. We're going to make this a short episode today. I'm sorry, it's a little bit of a short episode. But uh, I want to jump into the Valley of Repose as a fresh brand new start, uh, basically the second half of this Let's Play. So real quick before we head off, let me go to the Piclopedia and just kind of show everything off real quick. Just to, I don't know, make a little bit of time so you guys can see something. <laughs> I know that there's a lot of uh, stuff. Oh, also now the Piclopedia has numbers as well showing what you've seen and what you haven't seen. So let's look at the new things. One is the Ranging Bloister. This, of course, is the Water Wraith. I gotta look at these so that I know what the names are. This is a Red Bulborb, Orange Bulborb, and then these are Dwarf Bulborbs. Okay, so there's a difference between the Bulborbs and the Bull Bears. So this is a Bull Bear. Uh, the Bull Bears are uh, similar to the Fiery Bull Blacks, which is also similar to the Emperor Bull Blacks, which these guys are all part of like the same family these right here the bull borbs, I believe these big ones are also part of that family but these three small ones right here are not these dwarf ones are in fact bread bugs that basically changed their appearance so that they could be mothered by these guys so they're actually supposed to look like uh, where are the bread bugs at like this but they just kind of evolved to look like it which is weird but I don't know interesting little trivia well, yeah, of course, the Bulbman. I love the Bulbman so much. I really wish they would come back. Like I said, the oh, this is the Doodle Bug. This is the Golden Flint, Iridescent Glint Beetle, and then there's uh, like the regular one. All these spiders, and as you can see, there's also plants. So whenever you brush up against a plant, technically you defeat it. It's, yeah, I don't know, it's interesting. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode.